Well, it is Heart Month, and we're talking with Dr. Mulhern with the Christus Ochsner St. Patrick Regional Heart Center. And the thing that we need to know about Heart Month, probably first of all, is our numbers. What numbers are we talking about? Well, mainly we're talking about cholesterol, blood pressure, and your blood sugar is another important number. Um, all of those things, uh, it's hard to do something about those when you don't know what the numbers are. Right. So the first step is kind of going and getting checked for those things with your local physician. All right, and how often should we be checking that? Uh, at least once a year, kind of depending on your uh, other risk factors. And our age, I guess, has something to do with it, too. Yeah, usually even when you turn 18, it's important to, as you become an adult, start to get those numbers checked. Okay, and what numbers, where should we be? What's our range that we should ideally be at? So it's a little bit different for everybody, but a general rule of thumb is you'd like to see your blood pressure less than 140 over 90. Uh, I usually get two numbers with blood pressure. Cholesterol, a general rule of thumb, is a total cholesterol less than 200, but there's some kind of fine tuning of that that can be done with your doctor. And then your blood sugar, we like to see the fasting blood sugar uh, at a reasonable level. All right, well, we are um, in heart month, and something new that's coming to St. Pat's is a hybrid OR. What does that mean? What is that? So a hybrid OR is just kind of like the name sounds. It's a uh, hybrid, so it's half operating room and half cardiac catheterization lab. So uh, procedures can be done in there that range from open heart surgery to minimally invasive cardiac catheterizations or stents. Um, and, the, and the room can kind of go back and forth if the procedure dictates that we need to go be a more invasive procedure. That's something that started out minimally invasive. That can be done all in the same room. How is this going to benefit patients that come here to the hospital? Well, it allows for us to do the, the complete procedure in one room rather than having to do it on two separate days or having to uh, do half the procedure in an operating room and half the procedure in a cath lab. As you can imagine, it's pretty problematic when you have to transfer a patient that's uh, in the middle of a surgery to a different room to do part of the procedure. And it really allows just for a smooth uh, procedure and continuity of care with the patient. Are there any other hybrid ORs here in our area? No, we're proud to say this is going to be the first one in southwest Louisiana. Do we know when it's going to open? April of this year, so sometime in the spring. All right, going back to the numbers that we need to be looking out for, what tips can you give people here in southwest Louisiana to keep those numbers in check? Because obviously we don't move as much as we should, we have great food here, and that doesn't help with those things, does it? So, uh, yes, I mean, the general rule of thumb is exercise about uh, 30 minutes a day, three to four times a week, so that could just be walking or stationary bike or something that you enjoy doing. Um, eating healthy, a low salt, low fat, low cholesterol diet. There's other diets out there, but uh, that's just kind of one general rule of thumb. And I always tell my patients, if it, if it tastes really good, think twice about eating it. <laughs> how does diabetes play a role in heart disease? Um, you said we need to watch our blood sugars as well. And how does that connect? So uh, diabetes also has a lot to do with diet. Uh, so there's uh, unfortunately a lot of diabetes here in, in uh, South Louisiana and the South in general. But uh, diabetes increases your risk of heart disease and stroke by about five times over somebody that does not uh, have diabetes. All right, so we need to take care of those things so that we can stay out of that hybrid OR. If we start seeing an increase in those numbers, we obviously need to start out with our regular physician. At what point do we need to come see a cardiologist? Well, I think you know most uh, primary care physicians are going to be very well equipped to deal with this. If they start to see things like uh, resistant hypertension or hypertension that doesn't get, get under good control with blood pressure medicines or difficulty managing cholesterol, then they'll sometimes get us involved with that. All right. People with high blood pressure sometimes say, oh, I'm feeling good today. I probably don't need to take that pill. Is that, is that right or is that wrong? That is wrong. Okay. Uh, you know, high blood pressure, they call it the silent killer because usually most people don't feel bad with high blood pressure. You feel fine until one day that high blood pressure leads to a heart attack or leads to a stroke or something else. All right. And I've heard a lot about calcium scores lately, too. Is that an, an important thing to know and when should we start checking that? Yes, a calcium score is a great test for a lot of people, not for everybody, but a great test for a lot of people at picking up early calcified cholesterol plaque in the heart arteries and it helps to helps us to know that you know this person has the propensity to develop disease we may want to treat them a little bit more aggressively. And that's something that we're going to be told by a doctor if we need to go get that check yes. done. Okay. All right. Well, it is heart month. Make sure that you talk to your doctor about your own heart health and make sure you have those numbers in check. Thanks for talking to us today. Thank you for having me. Stay with us. We're going to be right back after the break.